Hello everyone, this video is my Outlast Whistleblower Insane Difficulty walkthrough. This video is aimed at getting you the Battle Whistler achievement or trophy for which you have to finish the DLC in Insane Mode. On Insane Mode basically you can't die, if you die the DLC completely resets. If you're looking for guides for other things for Outlast, maybe some collectibles or Outlast 1 or Outlast 2 stuff, I've also done some guides for those, I'll link them around in the description for you and at the end of the video if you're interested in checking those out. Thank you all for checking the video out. Let me know if it helped you get something done, maybe your achievement or your trophy, Platinums if you're on PlayStation. And yeah, either way, I just hope you enjoy. Thanks for being here again. Let's get this going. Okay, so this run is uh, quite a bit shorter than Outlast itself. By about, I don't know, maybe about a third or so. Maybe a little bit more. Well, the intro is a good few minutes long. If you're playing on Insane, though, you're going to have to do this. How does that work? How do you not wake up but open your eyes? Somebody hit you? Six feet, dude. Back up. You get these alerts? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral assumption. What do we hope? They're not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. All right. Two hours earlier. So this area is all very straightforward. Just need to wait until we gain control here. If you didn't know, this is um, essentially Miles emailing... Oh no, sorry, not Miles. Waylon emailing Miles, who is the main character in the main game. And we are Waylon. In this DLC. So this is how Miles gets led to the asylum. Interesting stuff. Hence whistleblower. Alright. So come out here and to the left. This guy is going to moan at you. We're going to come out that door and to the right and then through these open doors. And to the right through this double door. Come around here. If you've beaten Outlast, you might be familiar with this area. Yeah, yeah. So interact with the keyboard here. Cutscene time. It's kind of messed up. Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. Ed will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Hold. Three. Our serial spin labeling is back online. Good. This 
positioning imaging plane. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Okay. You need to exit the room, so now we head back to uh, where we began. <clears throat> back to where our laptop is. So through these doors, left. And then to the end of this corridor and left again. And back here, and then cutscene time. On the floor! Down! Hands where I can see him! Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. That was crazy. Have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to force confinement? No. Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. That is a lie. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? No, you did not. That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That's Lies. brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Damn. That's a medieval anesthetic you got right there. Punched up, gun butted, and kicked in the nose. Whatever. So. If you are speedrunning this game, this is where you start. This is where the timer starts, just after this section. When the door to your cell opens here. Um, but once you stand up here, you'll need to grab the camera. You'll see the wall rider attack this guy. I guess we kind of get lucky that the wall, wall rider attacks that guy and not us. Because he messes people up, man. Either way, get over and grab that camera. I'm pretty sure the wall rider kills the people on either side of you, but leaves us alone. Very lucky. Okay, so this dude's going to come through this door and open up the cell. It takes a second, though, so just wait it out. Rude. All right, there we go. So when the door opens, come out here into the left through this door and all the way to the end of this corridor. The wall rider is going to show up on this next turn. So run to the right a little bit and then just go to the left and run around him. He'll usually hit you once, but you'll be good to just come through to your left and through this door and get away from him. Come to join us. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something you regret. No. You want to lose? Too good for the likes of us? Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now! Get the f*** out of here before I change my mind. I mean, I don't know, I might get a bit stabby here to make some friends, given the situation. Either way, we're coming through this door, and then keep running. Hug the left side of this corridor and then go through this door. Usually if you run open to those run into those cracked doors, they'll open. All the way through this room, and then through the door, hop up on the table here, and then up into the vent. Very simple little chase. But yeah, that door didn't open for me. I had to actually open it myself. Usually if you run into them, like the cracked open doors, they just open for you. Um But that one didn't. I had to open it myself. If you look down while you're going through the vents. You can see 
where you're going a lot better than if you try and look forward. You don't really need night vision if you do this. But once you reach the end of this event, flash on the night vision and drop down heel. And then push this box out of the way of the door. And through the door. Ignore the guy that walks up to you, he's not going to hurt you. All the way around to the right here and into this room and then left. Keep on going. Left heel. Left again and into this room. And then press this button. So we're going to have to wait here for this guy to get murdered in the decontamination chamber. He's done for. Alright. So turn it around and wait for this door to open. You can see the bolts on the door retract. But also if you're facing it, you'll be able to interact with the door. And then we're just taking a couple of right turns to get into this decontamination chamber. Take a right here and follow this guy up until this point, and then go left and climb up here. And then we're going to turn on the night vision here so we can see, keep going and drop down here. And we're going to take the second left through this door, and then we're going to go right and through here. Follow this room around, come through here, and through this door to get into the kitchen. We're not in any danger here, but we do see this guy chopping somebody up. We're just going to ignore him and go to the left, come around here and into this area, flick on your night vision, through the gap in the wall here, and into the bathroom. Keep going forward to the back of the bathroom and through here. Take a quick left and another left here to jump onto this table up and over the door. So keep running forward. And uh, our cannibal friend is going to show up here, but we're just going to run past him and go left. Keep going forward here. And then take a right when you reach this point through this door. You might need some night vision here to see. Open up this door and then go to your right. Hop up here and hop through the hole in the wall. When you drop down here, come into the area just on your right and grab the key off this body and then come around this way and we're going to go through the door that just got broken open by this guy and head left keep running here just go around to your right you can run past the cannibal again keep moving over the bed and back to where we came from it's over the door right here and use the key to open this door so open that up then come down here take a left down the stairs and into this corner of the room and just run towards this door. You're going to get knocked into the furnace. Rude. So when you get thrown into the furnace, turn around and interact with the wall behind you just to break through it. So hop up here, and again here, and then come over to the left, and you've got some boxes, you can jump up right here, and then you need to turn around and jump up again, and then over here on the right side is a ledge you can shimmy across. Keep on going. Keep moving all the way across. And then... Hop up the ledge here, come over to the right, and you can crawl through the vent space right here. Drop down and turn to your left, and then follow the corridor. You probably need some night vision here, and we're going left, and then a right at this point. Keep going forward. You don't actually need to go into this room, but it kind of gives you a good bearing. Keep following the hallway around like this, and then come into this room with the bookcases. When you get to this door, this guy's going to chase you, and we're going to use the bookcase to get around him right here that's in the back of the room, and then back out the way he came from. Keep following the hallway, left here, all the way down when you reach this point. You might need some more night vision right here so you can see the desk you need to jump over. Keep running forward and you'll reach a squeeze through spot that you need to go through. Take a left into this room and open up this door, and then go through here, and then through the opening in the plastic follow it around and jump through this window and then go left and open up this door 
take a right turn and you'll get this guy in your face when you open up this door. And we're going to jump over the table here. You need to be quick with this area. Don't wait around in this next section. Come through here to the left. And after this door, you need to be speedy about what you're doing. So just go right. Keep moving. Don't wait around. Go through the door with the red flashing light. You can see how close the cannibal is. But providing you just keep moving, he won't even hit you. Hop up onto the bed and into the vent. Nice and easy. And then you're going to drop through heel. Go through the door that's straight ahead of you. And through the squeeze spot right here so yeah just make sure when you're running through that corridor with the cannibal in you move fast and you'll get through without being hit so let's go left straight to the end here and through this door take a right in this room and in the back and on the left here is another door you can go through take a left through the door come all the way down here and through the door that's cracked open and then go through this door in the back of this room is a sort of a circular corridor that the cannibal will be in. But we're going to just get his attention, turn around, run back, come back over here, and wait for him to get a little bit closer to us so we can just give him the run around and go back through the door where he came from. Take the left and then the first right here and jump up above the decontamination chamber to get away from the cannibal temporarily. In this area, you've got to pull a valve and then you've got to get back uh, past the cannibal. The cannibal can be in different places, so just be ready to run and turn around if he's in front of you. Pretty much. It might not work out the same way it did for you, but it's the same principle. For me, I think he was just outside of the decontamination room and I just ran past him. But either way you go here, left or right, you'll end up back in the room we started in, which is where we need to go. So just make sure you give him the run around and then come over here to the room with a flashing red light in it and uh, towards the decontamination chamber. Like I said, that might play out a little bit differently for you. But um, just keep your eye out for the cannibal. You can also walk until you see the cannibal. When you get through the decontamination chamber, there's a battery right in front of you on the dead body. And we're going to come over here to the next decontamination chamber. And this will take us outside. So all the way down the stairs. And go left when you reach the bottom of the stairs towards the light. And then follow the chain link fence and through the open door on it. Once you get down the steps here, start heading left towards the light you can see in the distance. You'll get jump scared there. Come through the opening in the chain link fence and go right and then through this opening. And again, you'll want to go towards the left and you'll eventually find the light. Stick to the left at first with these stairs because there's two guys on them. And you want to go left and then right. They won't come after you, but they'll just run past you. And if you're in their path, they'll hit you. You want to come over here. Um, just to trigger the next uh, door opening coming towards that door just gets this guy here that you're about to see to come out of the chain link fence and uh, You can just run past him like you did with the others take a right here and then another right through the opening in fence and Hop the gap here and we're going to drop down to this area and then we want to use this ladder to go up A lot of this game is really just running, especially the, this DLC. This DLC only has like a few areas where you can actually die if you know where you're going. And even then, like it's 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 a pretty easy speed run to be honest. So all the way through through this door, wait right here. And oh no, wait, so no through this door, wait. I think it's on the next door we wait because the twins come through. Yeah, so don't run through this next door. Because the twins will come through it. If you run into them, they're gonna kill you. So just go left when they've walked past you. Follow the path around to get to the basketball court. We're going to run past these guys. And then up the ladder at the end here. All the way up. Okay. So, follow around the edge of this fence. And through the opening here. All the way down to the end and then left. Keep going. And left again. Guy's gonna run past you here, so stick to your left. Right, we'll go in. We don't actually want to go in this room. That was a mistake. We want to go to the ladder that's just here. But you're not in any danger here, so don't worry about making a wrong turn in this area. You're fine. So once you're up the ladder, you're gonna come along here and to the left. Left again, through this door, all the way to the end of the corridor. Don't worry about anything attacking you here, you're gonna be fine. Take a left and then a right. All the way to the end, and then through this door. So you need to come into this room now and interact with the radio. Have a little cutscene here. Really? You 
couldn't just couldn't just keep your mouth shut. Couldn't just play along. But you're done talking now. Do me a favor and die here, Park. Okay, once you gain control again, come towards the door and get Chris's attention. Lead him back into the room and run around this table. Just wait until he's on the other side of it and run around and out of the door that he just came through. Easiest way to get past him there. Come down here and head left over the table. And then left again. Through this door that's cracked open. And take a left here in between the shelves. Another table to jump over and then keep going forward to reach the squeeze through spot. And you're away from Chris. Follow the path around here and go through this chain door or wire door whatever you want to call it drop through the hole and do a 180 and then go towards the doorway that has the exit sign above it follow this room around and take a left into this area turn the night vision on here because it is very dark and then go left right and another right left again keep going forward all the way to the end here you'll see this hallway with beds and wheelchairs in it just keep going forward and hopping over them all the way to the end and then the, you'll see a curtain flapping in a window and that's the window you need to go through. Once you hop outside you're away from Chris and the game automatically turns off your night vision there. Um, but if you pull the camera back up it will still be on. So come to the back right corner of this area and through this door and then down the stairs and on your left is an opening in the fence you can jump through. it. You need to crouch under this pipe and you might need some night vision here to see. Keep going forward up the stairs and then go left. And then take another left in between the trees. Once you get through this door, you'll want to go left. Again, you might need some night vision here. All the way down here and down these stairs into this area. And once you reach the back of this corridor, take a left and you need to pull the switch. It's in the back of this area. So pull the switch and then you need to go back to where we came from. So back towards the stairs we just used. And once you come back up here... Um, the switch gets turned back on or yeah the electricity gets turned back on and you have to come back down so it's usually in between these trees or so yeah and go back to where you just were and pull the switch one more time be prepared when you do this for a guy to be behind you there's a jump scare here and you kind of need to just run past the guy as you turn around he hits you um i'm pretty sure it's unavoidable so come back here press the switch yet again turn around this guy's gonna be in your face and he's gonna punch you just run past him and go back towards the way we came. So let's keep going. All the way up. To the right right here. And right again through this doorway. And on the back right here is another door you'll want to open. Keep going. And then go through this door right here that's cracked open. And take a left when you go through it. All the way to the back. And through the door that's at the end here. There you go. So once you're through here, go left, keep going forward, and there's a door right at the end of this corridor. And take another left, and you'll want to drop into the water here. If you jump while you're in the water and move forward, you'll move a lot faster. But you're trying to get to the ladder that's on your left. You're not in any danger here, so don't worry about it, but it's a little bit faster if you jump through the water there. Right through the door, and then right through the opening in the fence right here. So go through this door, and... All the way up the stairs that are on your right side so these are like circular stairs just go all the way up there's a jump here to make about midway up or so so there you go let's make that jump that jump and all the way up there's a ladder here you need to climb there it is so you can go left or right at the top of the ladder it's up to you either way we're going through the same opening in the window and there it is let's hop through there and there's another jump you've got to make here. Let's jump relatively late. It's not a very precise jump. And down we go. So once you stand back up here, 
You'll hear these guys talking, but don't worry about being in any danger in this first area. Turn to your left and go through the crack in the wall, and then go left again and follow the edge of the room here. And we're going to come through these bookshelves underneath the crate here and towards the light you can see in the back of the room around this desk and then underneath this desk. Keep going forward and come around the shelves here. And there's a yeah, an area you can go through. I almost took a wrong turn there, but we're going through the squeeze spot right here. If you get lost in this area, don't worry. It is a bit confusing. Um, you're not in any danger, though, for a while. and uh, Until the very end of this area, you're not in any danger. So don't worry if you end up fumbling around. Keep going forward, and you're going left through another squeeze spot. This guy is going to jump scare you, but I just look away from him. Not really any need to pay attention to him. Straight forward and through this squeeze spot then, and then you're going to take a left right here. And there's a battery on the back left of this room I like to grab, just in case you need some more. And uh, we're heading back, sort of the way we came to get to this box that's in the way of this opening in the wall. Let's push that out of the way then, come through. You go in left when you go through, follow the wall around, and you'll come into this area. Hop over the shelf here. And head this way and then we're going through the opening that's on our left left again through there another squeeze spot for us go around the pipe here and you can jump up over the shelf in this area so when you get to here there's a guy that's going to come through the door and we're going to wait right here in between the shelves wait for him to start chasing you and then head to your right and you can hop up through the wall here and then you need to go this way to your left when you jump through. Follow the room around and jump over the table here. To the right and then hop up this shelf right here. And then on these boxes to get up here. Drop back down. And spin it around to go down these stairs. And then follow in the room around right here. So we're getting to the point where we have to deal with the groom. Which is everybody's favourite part. Just keep following the room around. Eventually you'll come to a double door that's on your left. And you need to go and interact with that. So. Right here I think it is. Yeah. Interact with that door and the groom's going to show up. And then go back the way you came. You need to go back a little bit here. To get to the door that he comes through. So let's go. Here it is. Alright so we're going to get his attention and give him the run around. So wait here. Go back the way you came, and then take the last left here, and then you'll see this opening in the doorway. On the right of that doorway is a table you can just run around and get away from the groom. Nice and easy. And then come into this area, take a left through this door. I like to use my night vision here. Through this door, keep going straight past the wedding dress, through this door on the right. And just keep running away from him. When you get into this room, you'll have to move this box out of the way to get through the door. Just push it out of the way. Open up the door. Keep going. Take a left heel. And go through this opening. And keep following this room around. Take a right here around this table. Through the door. Jump over the table here. We've got another box to push out of the way in the back left of this room. Let's get that gone. I accidentally, I accidentally let go of the box there, which is a bit clenchy because it gets really close. But the groom actually moves really slowly, so it's whatever. So when you get to this elevator, just jump for the ladder. You'll end up falling. And uh, in your leg. Not a very good ladder there. So once the elevator starts going up, we just need it to level out with this platform and then we can just walk out of it. <clears throat> Head left when you come out of the elevator and then to the right after the doorway there. And then we're going through this door that's on our left. And through the doorway here. Keep following the blood that's on the floor. You might need some night vision here, but I needed to reload the camera, so I quickly reloaded it. 
head through the door here and you're going to want to interact with the door first or just go close to it if you need to and then you'll see eddie walk past once he's walked past the door you can get in the locker and then he's going to come and get you so we've got a bit of a chunky cutscene here i'm probably just going to skip past it in the video but feel free to watch it if you like it's a bit gruesome so be warned you make yourself a gift a delicacy to be unwrapped Unwrapped again. Savored. Here we go. I've been a little vulgar. And I want to say I'm sorry. I just... You know how a man gets when he wants to know. But after the ceremony, I've made an honest woman of you. I promise I'll be a different man. I want a family, a legacy, to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children. Not like... Consummate our love, but try to enjoy the anticipation. Here, darling, this will help you relax. I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with your suffering, but you really need to make an effort. No, I'm so sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. <clears throat> Hold still now, darling. All these unsightly hairs. Oh, <laughs> silky smooth. Like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. No! No, don't! Please! Oh, God! You've given uh, up. You're ugly. And you've given up on love. You're not even worth stringing up. Oh, God. Bleed tears. And I. You have amazing bone structure, such soft skin. You're going to be beautiful. A woman has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to endure for my sake, for the sake of our children. It won't take long. A few snips of the flesh here and here, cut away everything vulgar. A soft place to welcome my seed, to grow our family. 
The incision will hurt. And the conception. And birthing is never easy. I'll make the cut fast. Just close your eyes and think. Okay, so gruesome cutscenes aside, when we gain control here, you're going to pick up your camera and head left through this doorway and around the shelves and Eddie's going to show up in the back of this area right here and we want to get his attention and give him the, the run around next to this table so when he gets closer to you just run around the table and keep going this way from where he came and you can get away from him follow the corridor around here and to left at this point keep going forward keep going keep going he is usually right behind you when you're doing this, so it can be a little bit terrifying. But we're coming around the mannequins here and through the slightly open door that's on your left. Come through this door that's open right here, on your right, and then keep going. And uh, hop over this table. And we're going to jump through this open window. Really not a lot left to the DLC now. Probably like another 10 minutes or so. Okay, so when you get control, come over here and come up these stairs and through this door that's slightly open, take a left when you get through here, through the open door, and then right around this bucket. So open up this door and get yourself a battery because when the groom takes your camera, it ends up running out of battery. You haven't got any battery at this point, no matter what. So we're going to go through the open door right here into the left and uh, slap on your night vision so you can see where you're going, hop over this table, and in the back corner of this room you can find an open vent that you need to climb into. So climb into that, you'll come into this room with all the hanging bodies, drop down, and keep going forward to the opposite side of this room. What a waste of a basketball court. Alright, so keep following along here. And on your right, just past this wall, you can see the lit up area with a slightly open chain door or wire door. Take a left into the wedding area, and this guy has the key. Grab the key and then immediately turn to your left and go through this squeeze through spot. That's when Eddie shows up, and we're going to push the box out of the way of this door. There we go. Open up the door and go into the room that's opposite the door you come through. And then wait here on the on your left side as you enter. Eddie's going to come in and just sort of lure him around the objects here and then go through the door and head to your right. Hop over the table and keep going, keep going. Make sure you leave a little bit of distance between you and him. But you want him to be close enough so that he doesn't turn around and go back on himself you want him to keep following you so you can get away from him we're going back to the vent now that's at the other side of the basketball court so hop up here and drop down back into the kitchen turn to your right when you drop down hop over the table here and take a right through the door and then Boom. One more. I try and I try. You all betray me. You can hang like the rest of them. Heavier than you look. This is you on the honeymoon. I hate to imagine. Uh, and of course. Hold still. God damn it, what are you? Come! Oh, damn it, darling! 
need to wiggle your mouse or your control stick at this point. And then, uh, that's it. I'm pretty sure there's not really anything dangerous after that. Been beautiful. Fuck you, Eddie. Right, so he's dead. And uh, now we need to leave. So let's head through the uh, door that we just unlocked a second ago before we got rudely interrupted. I'm not sure if there's anything that can kill you after this point. I think there are SWAT guys around, but I'm not sure if you can actually run into them. Either way, if you just follow the way I go, you won't die, but there's nothing chasing you or anything like that. But there's a bunch of sort of like SWAT guys that show up and you see them interacting with certain things, but I don't think they can actually see you. Just in case, though, stick on the path I take here to get out. You can see a couple of them there through that door. We're going to take a right there and over this desk, though. And left here. Keep going forward. Underneath the boarded-up door. Take a left when you get through. Keep going forward. And take a right here. If you go left, you can go and look at Traeger's body, but we're just going to come this way, over the table, to the right heel. Take a left heel, and you get your full running speed back now. You'll end up in this corridor. Keep going straight down. All the way down. And take a left into this room. Run around the settee, or just jump over it if you want to. Take a left when you get through the other side of the door. Keep going forward, all the way down heel. And then you're going to use the stairs to get back to first floor and come around here towards the exit Mr. Park. No one can know. No one. we know Time to die. Alright, so all we have to do now is make it to the car, and we're done. Nice and easy. I feel like this is probably the easiest run to do out of the Outlast series. Out of Outlast this and Outlast 2 anyway. Outlast 2 being the hardest, because it's like two hours long. Which is kind of frustrating, but uh, I'll be doing another guide for Outlast 2 very shortly. Look out for that one. I recently redid my Messiah run because uh, some of the strategies I used in the original guide have become a bit outdated and they've been patched, so I wanted to redo it for anybody who's interested in that. But I also wanted to do like this guide and the collectibles and stuff for all of the Outlast games. So, But yeah, I hope this has helped you out. You just need to go to the car now and interact with it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know in that comment section if this helped you maybe get an achievement done or something, or if you just enjoyed watching the run. Uh, I'd appreciate that. If you want to support me a bit further, you can always just drop a like on the video and uh, maybe a comment. If you want to support me even further than that, you can always come on over to my live stream channel at twitch.tv slash iframes. That will be linked down below in the comment section if you want to come and check that out. Uh, yeah, not much else to say other than there'll be some more videos linked on screen if you want to check those out or my other Outlast stuff. Again, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. And until next time, take it easy. You press that button. It's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Merkel. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Merkel but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you?